jazz bones, and we got the word bone from trombones. And so we're glad to be here at the Applied Series. And that first tune that we played for you is called Just Friends, and it was written by John Clenner in 1931. Um, and tonight we're in all instrumental, there's no vocals, so just for fun I thought I'd give you the words to the tune. It's two friends drifting apart, two friends but one broken heart. We loved, we laughed, we cried, then suddenly love died. So just, they were just friends, that's why it was the tune. So the next tune up is called Don't Get Around Much Anymore, which is a which is a uh, swing favorite. We have a question. Was the first one a samba? It was. How come we didn't see you dancing then? I know, I can't get it to get up. <laughs> okay, don't get around much anymore.
so much. Um, now, our next one, we're going to do a Latin tune, which is a cha-cha. Now, how many people can dance the cha-cha? So are you going to get your husband to dance? Okay. Um, this tune is called Viva Triado, and it was written by Jerry Wilson, who was a trumpet player and big band leader. Um, he played with Duke Ellington, Sarah Vaughan, Dizzy Gillespie, and many others. And so he wrote this tune for his Mexican-born wife as a Latin church.
great dancing. I had so much fun, I lost my place in the music for a second. <laughs> you guys didn't know that, did you? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue on with a ballad. And it's called Here's That Rainy Day. And it was written by Jimmy Van Heusen and published in 1953. And it introduced Doris Gray in the Broadway musical Carnival from Flanders. And this was one of Frank Sinatra's favorite tunes. Uh, Frank's not here tonight, so you just have to do with us. But this is a. <laughs> he decided to stay in Florida still. He, believe it or not, he's coming in in two weeks. So um, we're playing in, um, at the end of the month, we're playing in um, Dean Park in Warren on a Friday night. And the date escapes me, but June will be here that time. And, uh, but Rainy Day is kind of a fun thing for trombones because up to this point, you know, the trombones is kind of an edgy instrument, but you're gonna hear the sound change to more of a, a melodic, soft thing for the most part. Thank you. 
Well, to change the tempo a wee bit, we're going to do another swing tune called Satin Doll. And this was written by Duke Ellington and Billy Strayhorn in 1953. And Duke used this to close most of his concerts. But don't worry, we have more to go. This isn't the last one. And there's a lot of speculation as to where the title came from. Uh, Billy Strayhorn claimed that this was the nickname of his mother, Satin Doll. But in, Ell in Ellington's biography, he called Evie Ellington his Satin Doll, so who knows?
uh, written by John and Michelle Phillips of the Mamas and Papas in 1965. And the song expresses a longing for the warmth of Los Angeles during a very cold winter in New York City. And uh, this tune kind of became the counterculture um, signpost of the era, California Dream.
They'll sing this over and over and over. Country roads. By the way, this is a the dance is a country two step. Can anyone do a country two step? Well, we're going to do another ballad, and the tune is I Don't Know How to Love Him, and it was from the 1970 rock opera, Jesus Christ Superstar, and written by Andrew Lloyd Webber. And this is sort of a torch ballad sung by a character of Mary Magdalene.
very much. Uh, that was, uh, I always love playing uh, those beautiful chords in that uh, jazz tune. Well, I'd like to introduce you to the members of the Jazz Bones, uh, playing the first trombone part and also the fellow that has arranged a lot of the stuff you heard tonight, David Sparty. <laughs> Next to him, going that way, is Leroy Wilmer. And down on the end is Joe Sable. And next to me is Jim Ledbay. On piano, the fellow that was supposed to wear a white hat but didn't is Mr. Richard Class. On bass is Guy DeVito. And on drums is Rick Drum.
definitely coming to a close. And uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming out. Thank you. Give yourself a hand. And I'd like to thank Bob with the Applause Series for having us over. Thank you. Uh, Art, would you like to say something? One more two. Okay, after you're done. Okay, we're going to continue on with a tune called Kansas City.